Let's freak out, shall we? Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to a fictional escapist. My name is Chris and today's video is the mid-year freakout tag. Slightly late because what is new on this channel? Before we jump into the tag today, make sure you're checking the description box down below for links to my social media and Discord should you want to come along for the ride. Let us just jump into this tag. You've all seen it a hundred times before. If you're vaguely interested in my answers, here we go. Prompt number one, the best book you've read so far in 2023. That would have to be Carved Amidst the Shadows by M.T. Fontaine. No, I will not stop talking about this book. If you like dark political fantasy, multi-POV, if you like a little bit of enemies to lovers that actually is done well, you're gonna like Carved Amidst the Shadows and have a good time with it. This is one of the only books I have turned the last page and gone, I could probably pick that up again and read it straight from the beginning. But I have self-control and also an enormous TBR and book two is coming out on my birthday later this year. So I will just refrain and read book two when it comes out. Uh, hopefully I will be getting the arc for that one. So Empty Fontaine, please, please give me the arc. The next one is the best sequel you've read so far in 2023. This would have to go to a book three, but I'm counting it as a sequel for this one. And that is Chaos Risen by Mark Holloway. This is book three of the aspect and tying off the first volume of that series. I thought this showcased some of the author's best work. It really shows me as the reader how much he has grown and also added some fantasy horror elements in there, which I absolutely loved. This one is just released. So if you haven't read the aspect yet, it is a complete little bundle of joy. Well, not joy towards the end of the books, but you know, you'll enjoy it, hopefully. Um, but the first book is very nice. And then it just goes into dark fantasy mode, which is my jam. Moving on to question three. And I love that the rest of these questions say name A, X, Y, Z. And I've just gone, here's a list of things that I want to answer for these questions. So sorry, not sorry. A new release you haven't read yet, but you want to. I have five on this list and one I actually own. The first one is The Surviving Sky by Kritika. Kritika H. Rao. And this is a philosophical fantasy, I believe. It takes a little bit of time to wrap your head around the concepts, but I was just enamored with the cover. I loved the blurb and I saw it in a bookshop and went, that was one of my anticipated releases. I'm just going to go and pick it up. So I have not read it. I do not know if I'll be reading it in 2023. Perhaps it is on the cards later. Who knows? The next one is Gods of the Weirdwood by RJ Barker. He's an auto buy author for me and I have got the Broken Binding edition of this one on the way. So I will be reading that one this year. I also wanted to get to Shades of Madness by Tiago Abdallah, book two in the Ashes of Avarin series. Horns of Grief by E.J. Doble and also Lock and Key by the same author. Lock and Key is probably more likely to be read because it is a novella, um, which is a Goddy Locks and the Three Bears retelling done in dark fantasy mode. And that just sounds amazing. And the last one that I also have a copy of that I can show you that I would like to get to at some point is The First Ancestor. This is by J.D.L. Rizal and is book two in the Last Ranger series, or the Ranger of the Titan Wilds is the series name. Uh, so I would like to get to that one as well. Got the Kickstarter edition of that with some gorgeous illustrations by Felix Ortiz inside. Question four, prompt four, the most anticipated release for the second half of the year, which of course I have interpreted as most anticipated releases. I have got four on here, all in the indie community. The first one being The Bastard Airs. This is by Helen Rieg Pedersen and book two in the Riveter Rising series. I believe this one, well, I know this one because I alpha read it, takes place in a the same timeline as book one and there's a lot of really cool easter eggs in there for book two and this is meant to be coming out in October this year I believe and I'm really looking forward to it. We also have The Sun Prince also coming out on October 2nd. We've just had the date released. This is by Luke Schultz and is the follow-up to A King's Radiance, a book I really enjoyed last year. So I'm looking forward to that one. We also have Echoes of the Storm by Cam Sinclair. This is book two in the Craven Chronicles. Had a great time with the first book. Can't wait to read the madness that happens in the second book coming out later this year. And of course, Marked for the Pyre by M.T. Fontaine, which is coming out on August 30th this year. And I'm hoping to get an 
an arc for that one. Question number five or prompt number five, whatever, is your biggest disappointment of 2023? That would have to be Record of a Spaceborn Few by Becky Chambers. So I haven't read a lot of books that I've not liked this year at all. In fact, I don't think I'm going to have a bottom five because the reading experience thus far has been pretty good. But Record of a Spaceborn Few did leave me wanting a fair bit. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet was brilliant. I really enjoyed the thematics, very inclusive. I had a, a, enough of a plot to keep me entertained. I know that Becky Chambers' books are more thematically driven than plot driven, that's fine. I read book two, A Close and Common Orbit. It was okay, I didn't like it as much, but I thought the thematics were again important. Record of a Spaceborn Few had too many thematics and too many characters for me to really grasp or care about. So I liked the narration, I thought the book was fine, but it ended very middle of the road. For me and it's probably been my biggest disappointment this year. My favourite new author and again I've gone with authors here. Uh, Empty Fontaine from Carved Amidst the Shadows. I have been fortunate enough to read The Ruptured Skies and Ark by Jessica A. McMinn and I think she's a blast. I really enjoy interacting with her and have an interview with her here on the channel. Uh, Michael Michelle who wrote The Price of Power. I think that author is one to watch. I think that he has really got something special and I think you'll see his name amongst the greats in the next decade or so and also Joao F. Silva. Prompt number seven was the biggest surprise. This has to go to Bones to the Wind by Tatiana Obe, a new adult uh, fantasy novel which was so thematic and I just I did not expect it and I cannot stop thinking about the book um, I've gushed about it here before there'll be a review for this one coming once I've read the second book I'll do a, a double review of them both together and I just thought it was amazing not only is it a fast-paced high stakes uh, situation we have a very vibrant world which you can al almost see when you read it on the page but the thematics are what really drive it home here. And it was super character focused. It really talked about some important things and it just blew me away if, if you haven't got that so far. Prop number eight, a book that made you happy. I don't read a whole lot of happy books uh, as a general thing. But I recently read A Mean Piece of Water by Jess McCutcheon and uh, Jess is someone who comes and does the Queer Corner with us over when we do it each quarter and I thought this was absolutely delightful and I thought the characters were funny and self-sufficient for teenagers and I had a good time with it and it genuinely made me smile in a couple of times with some of the humour that came out and just the, uh, the happy ending which I don't often get in uh, what I read. Question number nine, newest fictional crush. I don't really crush on people in books. I mean, I have a wife, I'm pretty much set. I'm pretty happy. But if I had to pick someone which I went to, it would probably be a Lady Envy from Memories of Ice. I don't know, I fell in love with Lady Envy. I think she is a cracker of a character, it's gonna be pretty glary in there. Um, and she didn't like have a whole lot of page time, but I thought she was super cool and I probably would follow her around like a puppy dog. It is what it is. Prompt number 10 is your newest favorite character. I have three for this. The first one is going to be Cayenne from Carved Amidst the Shadows. I think this character goes through a phenomenal amount of growth and becomes such a strong character towards the end of this book. I thought she was done absolutely brilliantly. Second one worth mentioning is Thephos in A Price of oh, The Price of Power by Michael Michelle. This is an underdog sort of dark character. I cannot wait to see where Thephos goes, but I was absolutely encapsulated with his story throughout The Price of Power. I absolutely loved it. And the third one is going to be Croup from the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. I know Croup annoys the shit out of a lot of people, but not me. I genuinely in love when Croup is on the page. This, I think it's a, he's a mage, but he's just a firecracker and out there and weird and I'm sure he would annoy me in real life but I absolutely love him in this series as a bit of comedic relief but also much smarter than he lets on. Prompt 11, a book that made you cry, I don't have emotions, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think I've cried in a book this year or anything. Moving on. Prompt number 12, the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received. I haven't got it yet 
but it would be Gods of the Weird Wood by RJ Barker. I bought the Broken Binding Edition and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'll put a picture of it over on the screen wherever it will fit. Um, but to mention a couple that I do actually have, so Bob the Wizard by M.V. Prindle just got a new cover, which is absolutely stunning. Look at that artwork. It just pops off the page. It wraps around to the back. And I think that is a beautiful cover on a paperback. And another one worth mentioning is the Kickstarter that I backed for JDL Rizal for the Ranger of the Titan Wilds. This is the last Ranger. And again, we wrap around. I'll take the dust jacket off so you can see in its glory. So the last Ranger that wraps around, artwork done by none other than Felix Ortiz. So that is book one. And I'll just quickly take off the dust jacket for book two. This is the first ancestor, uh, which is book two in the series. So they are just stunning. They are some gorgeous, gorgeous books that have come into my possession this year. Prompt number 13 is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Oh, grace. There are so many books that I need to read before the end of the year. I'm going to name a couple that are definitely on the TBR. The first is The Faithful and the Fallen. This is by John Gwynn. I have got a buddy read scheduled from September through to December with uh, Roger from Roger's Reads. I also have on my own channel a buddy read of the Southern Reach trilogy by Jeff Vandermeer. That will be happening here October through December, I believe. I also want to read The Skin and the Pact by J.E. Hannaford. I think these are beautiful books and I just want to get a couple more duologies under my belt to actually close out some series, so duologies are nice and fast. I want to read Tagana, which is here. I want to read Tagana by Guy Gabriel K. That is on the list uh, this year, and I also want to read Swan Song by Robert McCammon, uh, but that is in another room, and I can't be bothered to go and get it, so I'll just put a picture on the screen. They are just a handful of the books that I want to read. There's so much more. Divinity's Twilight, Divinity's Re Remnant by Christopher Russell uh, is on the cards this year as well. And there are a few other ones here and there from Spippo entries that I do want to go ahead and read, but we'll leave it at that for now. In terms of tags, I'm not going to tag anyone. You've probably seen this a million times by now. If you want to do it, please go ahead and do so. It is a fun tag to do each year to really have a look at what you've read and what you want to read going forward. If you like the content, Give one of those. If you want to see more of it, click subscribe at your will. I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao.